I've been experiencing what's called padronal labor for probably the past three days. Even all the way to the point where, not last night, but the night before, woke up in the middle of the night. I was timing contractions and probably, they got to be up five minutes apart and I had the strong period cramp feeling. All the same feelings that I had with when I went into labor with Mila, our first baby. And once we got to the hospital, they died out. But um, when we got home, they just became more inconsistent. I would say always ranging from eight to 10 minutes apart. And they're not like the average breaths and hicks contractions where you just feel that pressure and tightening and it's like, oh, I'm having a Braxton and hick contraction. These feel like labor contractions and they hurt and I can't walk when I'm feeling them. Um, obviously I'm not in the stage of the game where you're moaning. That's more like when you're like six, seven, maybe even eight centimeters into labor. But I'm having a lot of signs like losing the mucus plug, like a lot. Like, <laughs> and if you want me to be honest, this is potentially a labor and delivery vlog, but um, the amount, it was like probably like half the size of my hand. Like I was like, I woke up at two in the morning last night and I was like, what is that? That was like crazy to see that. I called my doctor last night. Just, you know, I'm concerned. I'm more concerned like if I just keep ignoring this, am I gonna miss out on getting the epidural and miss out on getting the antibiotics that I need for the baby? So mainly, I I'm just still confused. I I've never been through this, obviously. It's been for three days now of feeling like I'm about to head into labor and then it's just kind of inconsistent, gets consistent, inconsistent. He ended up calling me this morning, checking on me, and he said, hey, if you wanna come to the hospital, I'll check you, see how far along you are. If I'm over four centimeters or so, he's gonna break my water and we'll go from there. But, um, I don't know. Gino just made me some eggs. I don't really have an appetite. I'm just so nerved up right now. I don't know, I, I just kind of have like a feeling that he will be breaking my water or trying something. And I don't know, I think I might maybe be having a baby today or I might not. I don't know, like the thought of like going home and then just being so scared. Like, I don't know why, I just feel like labor comes on at night, babies come on at night. I'm just like so scared. Like, okay, I'm just going to ignore this and something bad's gonna happen. Like him come before we get to the hospital or something. Um, but we'll see what happens. It's just like so weird. Like I just said bye to Mila and it's like that might be the last time I saw her as like the only child. I'll show one last belly shot right now. I mean maybe you'll see it in the hospital too. Well, you probably will, but I'll show you it like this one last time. So I'm 39 weeks um, and two days pregnant currently. And I feel a contraction coming. So, uh, so what I'm feeling right now, if you've never had it, uh, it's like super, super tight. I feel it all in my butt. I feel it extremely low down, like real low down here. And I feel it between my thighs and I can't walk. I can talk still, but I definitely cannot walk because of the discomfort. And it feels like strong period cramps. And this is what I've been feeling for three days straight now. And, you know, I don't know. It like comes and goes and fizzles out and stuff. But I feel like it's been a solid eight to 10 minutes now for almost 24 hours. So we'll see what happens. Round yep. two. Round two, last time. We're seeing our house maybe with only one baby. Right. Last time our house is gonna be quiet. Right? Maybe. Maybe. Well, quiet is.
I haven't been timing my contractions, but I feel like they've been coming every, if I were to guess, five, seven minutes. check in once I'm in the, I'm probably gonna go right into the triage again like last time. So, currently um, getting monitored and I could see I'm having like a ton of contractions and um, the doctor checked me, I'm four to five centimeters dilated and um, I'm getting admitted. So we're definitely having a baby today and he's gonna break my water. Um, obviously what we know, what has been going on is the prodromal labor, but he like mentioned, what do you say, babe? It's, it's a prolonged, um, I can't remember the, whatever he said, but like the first stage, but just stuck in it. And yeah, not for stuck like, in it, but just taking a long time to move on. Yeah, for like the past, um, 36 hours. Enough to break the water, so. Yeah. Can get going. It's enough to break my water, so. And then shortly after I'm getting that epidural and um, we're probably gonna have a baby in a few hours so I won't be very happy pretty soon um, yeah yep so okay things are getting real now I was four to five centimeters back in the triage I think it's been already an hour since I've been here and I'm getting the antibiotics and I'm getting contractions like crazy and the epidural should be here in like 15 minutes let's see them that's them I'm just trying not to throw up right now I'm like a big fear of throwing up I'm like more scared of like throwing up than giving birth right now <laughs> I think I'd be more afraid of giving birth How was that? I just got my water broken and now I have like the shakes <laughs> and contra like contraction. Oh, oh my god, I just felt like a big gush. <laughs> oh jeez. I can't show that though. Must have been the rest of it. That was cool that we were just like filming that. Yeah, we just oh got it. God. Perfect timing. Stop. What? I was trying to get your belly shaking, but. No, that's just the shakes. Yeah, but as soon as I stopped, as soon as I turned it off, it was a nice big shake. That was your five foot needle. I mean, it really didn't feel like, honestly didn't feel like anything. Like I think really? a little pinch felt like more, but I just feel so much pressure in my butt. Makes right my now. knees weak. And that's what's bothering me more. Like I can like move my legs right now. Yeah. But, like if I touch right here, it feels like pins and needles type really? numbness. But I can still tell when I'm getting contractions. Yeah. I'm shaky right now. I'm about to get one. I really hope I don't need to vacuum again. I know. I hope he just flies out. Let's test out your mirror. This is your mirror. I wonder if my vagina is all swollen. What? I wonder if my vagina is swollen right now. Um, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's where you get to see. I want to try to look what I'm pushing. 
in hopes that it helps. Yeah, so you're gonna watch them fly out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Should I try to put the bed up? Like, you I sure? Know, like, a lot of like midwives and stuff say the worst thing to do is to labor on your back. Okay, well, you ready? It's like, I'm just gonna go a little bit. Oh, good. Babe, I need you to like lift my body up. I'll just wait for this contraction to like. Yeah, because I don't know if I'm gonna touch anything or. I don't want to rip something out of you. Should I call for the lady? Yeah, I need to get off my back. It's like bothering me too much. It's the red one, right? Mm -hmm. The red button. It's for you if you want. Okay, thank you. Mari, nine centimeters. What did you say? Nine centimeters. Yep. Yeah. That's it, no. I got here at like 12. Yeah? 3 o'clock. God, this feels so much better too. Yeah, that feels nice. That's cool the bed does that. Yeah. I don't feel like it'd be quick like that. Yeah. Thank you.
want to deliver in that position? Do you have any position or you just want to push for a little bit? I mean, I don't know. It depends how I feel that like, as soon as I got in the, this position, I felt like it was Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Put out the 
when it's like like nine months and up. Do a little skin to skin, keep them nice and warm. He has dark brown eyes. My eyes, I think. Oh, I I can't wait to see all those pictures. Do you want to try to suck on my foot nipple? Yeah. Nila's really lighter from the beginning of our like blue. Well, I have a baby. So crazy. It seriously feels like night and day. Um literally night and day from the first time to the second time i um it's almost five yes five o'clock now we got here what around 12 i'd say and i had him at 3 45 um but yeah that was just amazing like i did all the research that i did and watching so many other birth vlogs and you know it's so good to prepare yourself and like watch other people go through it and I mean like I watched like vaginas opening up and everything and it just I had the mirror open and like looking at it and stuff and just I don't know it was so crazy like crazy different and um this time I only pushed for 15 minutes I still ended up getting the vacuum but I don't care about that and I think I got a second degree tear but not bad not as, not, bad, as, not as bad just completely that, this time the vacuum it was once and done yeah and this time it was like yeah three or four times spit. he has lots of fluid and amniotic fluid you i think wipe, coming out you wipe that off so yeah. um yeah so what was i saying i pushed for 15 minutes and he was born at 3:45. is he okay yeah, it's okay. And, um... Make sure he's... Yeah. yeah. And, um... I already had him nurse. And, like, right away, um... I know he got, like, a real good feeding, but I used the nipple shield because... I have flat nipples, but, um, I already saw I have so much colostrum, and I could tell it was, like, pulling up in the little thingy, and he was so much happier once, um, he got on there, and... Now he's like super content and it's just crazy, right? Oh yeah. And Gino pulled out the baby. Yeah, best part about it. He actually, I, I swear to God, like the first time I didn't even know what was happening, I blacked out. Yeah, that was My hands. Different, <laughs> he, a little more difficult. Yeah, he literally pulled the baby out with obviously the doctor right there. Yeah, thank God. And like my hands were like right like i saw his head and everything coming out yeah you were pretty much sitting up i was sitting up like i wanted to grab him too it's crazy though yeah like, okay just a baby boy okay the hospitals do a great job keeping the baby safe but they just do not know how to feed a pregnant woman <laughs> well now i'm not pregnant that's but a, there's a turd on my brain. <laughs> that's a that's a turd stepped on with, with icicle shoes at least they got some some nice ice cream. But what's nice though, like when you get to pick out the food, it wasn't this bad. Like, like oh yeah, tomorrow, like tomorrow morning. Yeah, right. You remember what my burger looked like last time? <laughs> yeah, that's true. The horseshoe burger. Like what? I didn't eat it anyway. Potatoes are okay. I mean, potatoes are always good. But I would I would hardly call that meat. How are you feeling? Good. I actually like having a baby in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty nice. We're gonna sleep tonight and then wake up tomorrow. Mila, we had 
Oh my god, Mila was a disaster. Like we did our whole day, and then had her. Yeah. And then went to the hospital when we were going to, instead of going to bed, and then had her the mm -hmm. next morning, and then was up that entire day. Yep. And then most of the entire night. Yep. Yeah, that was horrible. I mean, I got some sleep last and night. Our first time. Like, yeah, that was. No rough. idea what was going on. I mean, sleep's probably not going to be good tonight either. But it's like we have. I have like a solid seven hours from last night, which yeah. is good. But um, oh my god, <laughs> just I can't get over the night and day experience. Even like the second time around, like you're just you know. Yeah. It's not like I don't know. So much more scary the first time. At least I felt more scared, and now it's like. Oh yeah, it's way more emotional. Now, yeah. This time it's like. I was shocked. You know shocked. What's coming. Yeah. Now Whole it's just, thing. Like it's crazy. It's even like you know yeah. you don't really even like cry that much. It's just. <laughs> You're excited and it's cool. I think there's gonna be tears later. I mean, I was crying like when I like looked over at like the little heater and stuff. But like when he was out, I was like just shocked. Like saw him come out, Gina pulled him out like right on my chest. It was like just <laughs> good experience, thank God. But I don't know if I said like I still needed the vacuum, but whatever, I don't care about that. <laughs> because he was out within like a second after that. Yeah, gotta, but his, they gotta get him out. his heart, started to drop so it's like whatever like just I was you know I didn't want to feel the pain anymore not that like I felt the pain but more like pressure I felt this Definitely time around as painful as last time. no yeah night and day but it was a lot quicker night and day experience though yeah